Hi, Neat Aspirants. Welcome to An Academy Neat English. I'm your biology educator, Ambika Sharma. Today's video is very important because we are going to talk about the NCRT. In today's video, we will understand that how to read the NCRT properly, how to revise the things from NCRT, how to make the short notes from NCRT. And actually, in this video, I will tell you the proper way to read the NCRT for your Neat examination. So this video is very important. Do watch it till the end. Make sure you are liking this video and you are sharing it with your friends as well. Okay. Okay. so see we all know that especially for the biology that it is the NCRT from where the paper is going to come okay but still we do not know the real the, the proper way to read the NCRT right when we know that our paper is going to come from the NCRT but still students they are not able to manage the full house why is it so so we are going to discuss all that points so these are the questions that we get from the neat aspirants that why ncrt i told you already that uh, your test conducting agency that is nta it has mentioned that they are going to ask the questions from the ncrt so ultimately it is the ncrt that you have to master even for the physics for the chemistry and for the biology as well I'll tell you one very simple thing. See, let's say if you have just started your NEET preparation, you are in class 11th or you are in class 12th or after 10th you are preparing, right? You, you, you want to prepare for the NEET and you have decided to start the NEET preparation, then still this video is for you. See, first of all, if you have just started your NEET preparation, even for the biology, for the chemistry, for the physics, let me tell you students, if you have just started it, right? If you're just reading that chapter for the first time, then it is my advice that you should obviously learn that chapter from your teacher then you should not directly open the NCRT because if you will read that particular chapter from NCRT you won't have that strong concept okay NCRT is just like notes once you understand a topic you can use this NCRT right you can use this NCRT to revise that points revise that important points NCRT is like that so for your strong concepts you need to attend your t uh, lecture right your teacher is going to teach you obviously as per that class you are going to make the notes and finally it is the NCRT that you have to follow and ultimately it is the question practice this is the ideal way right this is the ideal way okay especially for the physics okay you cannot directly read a chapter from the NCRT you cannot even understand that your teacher is going to simplify that your teacher is going to teach you the topic your teacher is going to tell you the kind of questions and then you should go for the NCRT okay so please keep it in your mind now for the neat aspirants those uh, you know who are preparing from last six months from last one uh, year or from last two years now this is for you see how to read it first of all when you read your NCRT right let me tell you never ever never ever mark never ever highlight your book in the first go never ever highlight your book in the first go why why because you don't know the important topics now uh, you don't know the important concepts there yeah? you don't know what you have to focus and what you have to ignore so when you start reading a particular chapter right when you start reading a particular chapter what you should do you should just read it once or twice and then when you read it for the third time then start highlighting the things then start highlighting the things and obviously Obviously, because your teachers, right, whenever we teach something, we always mention the important topics to you. We always mention the important points to you. Isn't it? Isn't it? So then in your third go, you should start highlighting your NCRT. Now you must be thinking that ma'am, we are the neat aspirants. We are preparing from last three months, six months, one year, right? Our NCRT is already highlighted. I'm pretty sure your NCRT looks like this, isn't it? Or even maybe like this, okay? Okay, then in that case, what should we do? See, obviously now you are revising it, right? You are revising all the chapters. You are reading it again, right? If you can understand that highlights, then fine. Otherwise, students, you can again buy a, a NCRT. Again, you can highlight the things there. Again, even you can use the PDF. It's purely your choice. The book is not so expensive. that then. So that's why I'm telling you that you can buy it again. You can start highlighting it again. Now you must be thinking that, ma'am, uh, why why should we do it why should we repeat it because but from january to april you are again going to read this book you are again going to read this book multiple times especially for the biology because we have to score 360 out of 360 so what is the first step the first step is never highlight anything in your first reading right never highlight anything in your first reading please keep it in your mind students kindly keep it in your mind right so for the second time and for the third time start highlighting the important things right this is for the beginners now what's next now let's say you have studied one chapter you know uh, the obviously you are going to 
solve the PYQs. As per that PYQs, you know the important statements, you know the important topics, you know the important lines. Then start highlighting your NCRT in this way, right? I'll suggest you people to use two highlighters. Why two highlighters? Here you people can see the reason. See. Let's say these are the statements, they are the most important one or they are the one from where, you know, directly PYQ has come in paper. Okay, you can use one lighter, uh, one highlighter, right, for your entire uh, biology for 11th, 12th, even for physics, chemistry, right, the, so that it should be clear in your mind that, okay, I am using this particular highlighter to highlight the statements which were directly asked as a PYQ in the previous papers. That's what you have to do. Okay, if you are confused that how many uh, last, P, uh, last year papers you should check, so I'll suggest 10 years, right, you should at least not miss last 10 years uh, previous year papers okay that will give you an idea that will tell you that what kind of question can come from a particular chapter okay then let's say if you have used this particular marker okay so for all the NCRT use this marker and highlight the highlight the statements right highlight the important statements then you can use other highlighter to mark that statements that you usually forget let's say you have completed one chapter right in that chapter obviously you are going to give the mock test right you are going to give the mock test as per that mock test okay in that mock test many times we make the mistakes as well right so for the biology i'm not going to suggest you that you should have a proper error notebook okay where you are mentioning ki, okay fine i made mistake in this line in this concept in this topic no directly do it on ncrt directly do it on ncrt okay so wherever you are making the mistakes highlight that points with other highlighter okay so that whenever you see that chapter for the next time you know that okay this was the portion where i was making the mistake and i have to or i should revise it properly this is my advice for all of you now the next way students uh, if you will check the previous year papers okay so you know that especially in the biology biology assertion reason kind of questions they are coming statement based questions they are coming true false kind of questions they are coming right and mostly students they make mistake in such kind of questions in assertion and reason kind of question so then what is the way out so while reading a chapter students okay while reading a chapter wherever you are finding the words like due due to okay you are finding a word like because you're finding a word like hence from such statement assertion and reason kind of questions they can come right you can even check your previous year papers okay you can literally even check your previous year paper that that type of that that points where due to because hence such words are given now assertion and reason usually come from that part okay now come the statement based question ma'am what about statement based question where we have to select you know more than one statement in our answer in that case what we have to do obviously you should read the question properly and while reading the ncrt bache right while reading the ncrt especially you know you know where do you get confused i'll give i'll give you one example from animal kingdom in animal kingdom when you read about that phylums okay in that phylums they mention uh, mostly marine like when you talk about your poriferans mostly marine mostly asymmetrical right mostly asymmetrical such type of statements are there so you should highlight you should while reading the ncrt now you should highlight such words then in uh, for that do not go for any highlighter just use a pencil you can use a pencil and you can you know put uh, you can say that you can just uh, highlight that portion or you can make a circle there you can make a square there whatever suits you okay whatever suits you do as per that so wherever such things are written mostly marine uh, mostly asymmetrical let's say in the paper in the final paper i can change this, this statement i can just mention all the poriferans they are asymmetrical is it a fact no it's not a fact it's not a fact right so you need to mark such lines so such points are important for statement based questions as well such points are important for your true and false kind of questions as well okay okay so wherever in ncrt wherever in the ncrt you read such words like there are only you know few chapters 
right there are uh, you can say that there are few lines in ncrt where they have mentioned the words like almost yeah all or mostly so always make sure that you highlight such things okay you highlight such things and mark my words that's how your paper is going to come okay now and this is true for the true and false kind of questions as well okay this is very true for the true and false kind of question when they ask true and false kind of question they uh, they generally change the statements right uh, the correct incorrect one or two or false what they do that all again like i have given you the example in mostly asymmetrical symmetrical kind of example that kind of question mostly they ask in true and false and even in statement based question make sure you read all the lines properly and make sure you do not miss such points where you know almost all mostly such words are given right this is something very important now i told you that you should analyze the previous year papers right you should focus on pyq make sure that in your ncrt in all the chapters even in the theory part even in the sim summary part bache you have highlighted all the lines all the lines directly all the lines right from where they have asked you the question for getting 360 out of 360 in biology such kind of practices they are very 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 important you know that even your need 2024 four paper is going to come from the maximum questions are simply they are just the they are just the previous year paper you can you can check it they are going to be the previous year questions okay okay so if you in your ncrt you know na that okay this line pyq this line pyq this line pyq so while revising that particular chapter you just need to pay attention on such important points okay for an example see this this is my highlighted ncrt let's say i have used this particular color or i have used this pencil to highlight the points which they have asked in the previous year paper so when i'll revise this na when i will revise this ncrt na see i don't have time to read each and every line okay so what will i do i will just focus on the important points right i know these are the points where i made the mistake i know these are the lines from where the question has come in the previous year paper so i if i will revise that portion only i can solve many questions okay on the basis of that i can solve many questions so these are the proper things these these are the proper way to read and to revise from the ncrt especially for the biology now one more example let's focus on one chapter i'll give you the live example now come to a chapter okay come to a chapter now when it's like ma'am how to make the notes first of all when you make the notes na you are not allowed to miss okay you are literally not allowed to miss such words the bold one the highlighted one never never miss such points you should know their meaning you should know the details of that particular you should know the detail of that particular word okay and see yep one more point see this part students now see so while reading it make sure that you know the meaning of all the bold words now come to the diagram part right come to the diagram part you know that diagrams are also very important for your neat paper diagrams are very 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 important for your neat paper so when you look at this diagram what you, what can you understand from this diagram see if i will be a student i am going to pay attention on this thing okay trna is also known as adapter theek hai i should know that it is in the text as well but what should be the another thing what should be the another thing that they here they have mentioned the serine they have mentioned the tyrosine so i will i'm going to ask myself a question do i know the codes right the triplet base codone codone for serine for tyrosine yes or no this is what you have to do you should know that where that where that amino acid is attached i hope you all have attended my marathon right you know na in the trna's diagram in the trna's diagram this one is going to be your amino acid acceptor arm right three dash is having the oh where cooh of amino acid is going to form the bond this is what you have to know this is what you should know okay okay these things are important and diagram in the diagram never ever miss the description students right never ever miss the description just a minute okay come to this point let's say this is biotechnology okay so here also in the biotechnology as i said you are not allowed to miss the highlighted part you are not allowed to miss the description right you are not allowed to miss what the description the description of the diagrams and moreover the lines which are given in between right for sure you will get a question from this part students for sure you will get a question from this part so here one more example is there right uh, i'll give you one example from the ecology as well if you will check that chapter na in the ecology in the ecology 
right now that chapter that environmental issue is not there but still i would like to tell you that there was a question on the dobson unit okay so dobson unit is right it's a previous year question it's a previous year question dobson unit is no it is not mentioned in the theory part but it was there in the description of the diagram and yes spooling spooling in the biotechnology we read this word spooling you can read the theory part you are not going to get this word spooling but in the in the image in the description of that particular diagram it will be mentioned so this is what you have to do that that are the most important things bache that is the most important things so what are my takeaways my takeaways are that that i am going to use the highlighter to highlight my ncrt when i know which one is important so i'll be using two highlighter one to highlight the previous year statements you can even use the pencil okay you can even use the pencil and other highlighter to highlight your mistakes as well that's how you can go for it right but make sure that you do not miss any previous year statement even in the diagram right you are not just going to look at that diagram and then it's fine no you have to understand that diagram you have to absorb that diagram okay, okay fine if this amino acid is given it should be like this if that is given it should be like this one more example from molecular basis of inheritance i'll give you okay and when it comes to making the notes just pick up that bold words right pick up that bold words and never ever mention the complete statement complete line just write it write everything in the short form wait we'll tell you see this is the molecular basis of inheritance this is the molecular basis of inheritance so here see the diagram the template strand the coding strand everything is given everything is given if you know this topic obviously you can answer all the questions on the basis of that right you can answer all the questions on the basis of that now look at this diagram from this diagram if you will see they have asked you know from this statement it is a direct pyq dna as the genetic material was unequally equivocally resolved from the hershey and chase experiment so if i'll highlight this line now so whenever i'll read this chapter right so i i'll remember that pyq okay 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 this statement has been asked and if something is repeated many times you can put the marks there that you know that my favorite is star mark so you can do like this you can do like this and for biology for physics and chemistry you can make a separate error book for biology it should be on the ncrt and whatever extra points you want to write right you can use the sticky notes you can use the sticky pads you can stick the things there and you can revise it is that clear bachche is that clear so that is what you have to do and please 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 students all i can say is that please make sure right make sure that you follow all that things okay okay and if there will be any other doubt even for the physics and chemistry uh, ncrt you can ask it from me in the uh, description box okay okay so do not miss even a single single line from ncrt right please revise it properly and see never miss such data as well okay that bacteriophage lambda has 48502 base pair so such points should be there in your short notes okay because we generally miss such points so such points should be there in your short notes and look at this diagram see 5 dash should always have phosphate 3 dash should always have a hydroxyl here this is the phosphate in between right so just to confuse you people they can even add the sugars here so it should not be like this right so do revise it if there is any other doubt you can tell me bachche i am always there for you and yes i have something important to share with you people okay so see for you people you know that we have started our last live batch that is your neat end game so you can go to any video of mine you have to you can go to any video of mine just click on the link okay right the coupon code ambika10 is already applied by applying that coupon code you will be the part of my class as of now we are discussing human physiology then we will go towards uh, we, then we will go for that cell unit so it is my advice people that be the part of these classes as soon as possible there will be a proper test there will be a proper revision and let me tell you bachche your team right your teachers they are simply amazing look at this team so they know what to deliver in that required amount of time right they will guide you they will give you a proper strategy you are not going to feel demotivated and moreover your preparation will be channelized at this point of time now we get confused we have so many things in our mind sometimes when we start physics we start thinking about biology then about the chemistry right so we uh, we just keep thinking only okay and we waste our time so here in this batch because the proper classes are their proper schedule is there for the classes so you know what you have to revise every day every day you will prepare accordingly and there will be a proper test so i want to see maximum students here in this batch bachche let's get best out of this batch and if you have any other doubt related to the physics ncrt related to the chemistry ncrt you can put that questions in the comment section right take care all the best thank you everyone